Hey guys, so I, I know I told you guys this car doesn't really belong to me yet, and that's unfortunately still the case, so uh, there's not too much I can do, because my wife, she told me I'm not allowed to touch it until she gets a new car, but I'm going to touch it. Anyway, so uh, I think there, there's a blessing in disguise in that, in that uh, you know, my original plan is to have everything uh, modular so I can convert it back to a passenger minivan at any time relatively easily. Uh, you know this this floor seat like I said it, it's gonna be the real easy one you flip that up and you got two extra passenger seat and you can change it back into a four seater pretty easily um, but since everything I do at the end of the day I need to bring it back to exactly the way my wife had it so she won't kill me um, it'll keep me true to that vision of trying to keep everything modular and trying to keep everything easily removable so that we can convert it back to a a normal passenger minivan at the end of the day so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm going but um, you know I'm gonna to have to take off that chair because you know when it's in camper mode that I can't have that there it's too big um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I want to build a bed and that's because it takes up the most space and I'm gonna build around the bed so once uh, I understand from a visual point of view how much space that the bed is going to require then I can start building everything around it and for the bed I actually have a, a, an idea I, I want to use something that I already have and uh, maybe you guys have stuff laying around the house you can use too but uh, I'm going to use an old bed frame uh, futon frame that I, I bought from Craigslist for like 10 bucks or something and I'm going to cut it up and see if it's going to fit we'll see how it goes all right, first up, I'm gonna remove this chair and it, it does unlatch pretty easily, but it doesn't come off super easy in that it, it, it's big and bulky. All right, and after you remove it, uh, what you have is these rails still. These rails, uh, I'm gonna see if I could live with them in. I, I know you could take them out, but I'm gonna see if I could live with them in and then uh, See if I could build around it, because these things, putting taking them on and off is not so easy, and it would certainly uh, go against my whole concept of converting everything back easily. So I'm going to leave that those rails and try to work around them. Ideally, what first thing I would do is I would uh, do the flooring first, but I, I, I can't do that because I can't reverse that. Uh, but once it belongs to me, I could do the flooring and I'm going to leave that and that won't change anything. But uh, for now, we're just going to leave the carpet. What you learned you can do is that you could push this lever and, and this lever down also. And when you do that, you're able to slide the, everything down. And I can't do all that with just one hand while I'm filming. But uh, if you do that, we'll be able to slide it down and I'm gonna to try to push it down there to get it out of the way as much as possible. That's as far up as it goes. Uh, I'm not sure if it's more out of the way up front or more out of the way pushing back as far as I can. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as I go. Oh, uh, futon bed I told you guys about that I'm going to hack up and put in there. This is a twin size futon bed and it, it may be only a twin, but it's obviously way too big to put in the minivan right now. Well, I, I guess I could put it in, but I won't have room for anything else. So I need to hack this down and make it uh, a little bit uh, transformable in terms of uh, shifting between a bench and a bed. Uh, we'll see what I can do. We'll just try to cut it up a little bit. But what I had in mind was to, to cut it down and then to move these supports inside and, and then to cut all these things down to size. And um, this... This futon has the nice ability to do this, which is recline. So I, I want to be able to maintain that uh, ability too, so that uh, when um, I'm just relaxing in the van or something, I could just recline instead of having it in uh, bed mode. is this frame and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut cut those support bars so that I could bring it in to the right size this is the way it's gonna look this is the the frame that I'm going to um, 
cut down so that I'm gonna you can see I made it a lot more narrow and I'm going to uh, a lot try to cut the pieces so it curves to uh, the van a little bit so it's gonna go wider over here and wider over there I want to maximize as much space as I can uh, and then when it's in the near on this side I want to keep it narrow and then make allowed to open up when I'm actually sleeping so narrow it when it's a couch sofa and then a little bit um, wider when I'm sleeping now I need to trim this crossbar so that uh, it's the right width which is very narrow and it's a little bit bigger for the crossbar in the back I'll right, do them so back. I put in the crossbars uh, I made the cuts I I made a bad cut here so I had to use a patch piece unfortunately but I, I think it's fine uh, that bar doesn't hold any weight on this down position. The weight is held right here, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. So that's the way it's going to look, and now I'm going to put the cross slats uh, according to size. It off, and I trimmed it down to what I think is the right size, but you know how that goes. And then I'm going to take these remaining pieces, I'm going to use this as the main one, and these remaining pieces to uh, use for the offset slat and to push it in. Um, so this this guy I'm going to put underneath and then I'm gonna build a, a little bit higher frame for that guy to hold in the, the futon. Okay, so that first piece is in and I'm gonna try to keep moving on. So I ran into a bit of a difficulty on this side. Uh, this piece right here, which I cut off to get around that. It was here and when I put it, I'm trying to do this one hand, uh, when I put it where it's supposed to be, this is in the way, so I cut that piece off and then we should be able to get it in now. The second piece is in. See that notch that I did? It looks like it, uh, it's going to be just perfect. I got the back side in. Yeah, that was a pain in the butt. And the concept is simple, but if you ever hacked up something for something that was it wasn't made for, you'll know what I mean. Simple, but not easy. Day. And as promised, my wife, the car is back to normal. Around. No evidence that I even tinkered around. 